plot the following points on the xy plane. And there's five points. The first point is 4, 2. When we have a point and we're given the coordinates, we know that the first coordinate is the x-coordinate, and the second coordinate is the y-coordinate. So here the x-coordinate is 4. And what that means, if we start at the origin, we need to move to the right 4 units because that's where 4 is on the x-axis. The x-coordinate always tells us where we're going to be horizontally. If it's positive, we go to the right. If it's negative, we go to the left. Now we've gone to the right 4 units, and the y-coordinate tells us what we do vertically. Since the y-coordinate is 2, we have to move up 2 units, because 2 on the y-axis is up 2 units from the origin. So we have to go to the right 4 and then up 2. That means that our point is going to be right there. So we plot the point and we say this is 4, 2. The next point we have is 1, 6. So the x coordinate is 1. That means we go to the right 1. That's where 1 is on the x axis. And the y coordinate is 6, so we have to go up 6 units because 6 on the y axis is up 6. So we end up right here. Again, that's to the right 1 unit and up 6 units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the point 1, 6 is going to be right there. So we put our point and label it 1, 6. The next point has coordinates negative 3. 5. When we have a negative x-coordinate, that means we have to go to the left on the x-axis. Since the x-coordinate is negative 3, we have to go to the left 3 units, so we're at negative 3. And then since the y-coordinate is 5, we have to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our point is going to be right there. These coordinates are like directions, almost like driving directions. The first coordinate, the x-coordinate, tells us if we're going east or west, and then the y-coordinate tells us if we're going north or south. Now, the next point, 7, negative 1, has a positive x-coordinate, so we're going to the right, and since it's 7, we're going to the right 7 units, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or you can just find 7. If this is 5 and that's 10, then we go two more to get to 7. Now the y coordinate's negative 1, and whenever y is negative, we go down, because negative values on the y-axis are below. So we need to go to the right 7 and down 1, and our point is going to be right there at 7, negative 1. Now the last point we have, negative 2, negative 6, uh, is we're going to go to the left two units because the x coordinate's negative two. And since the y coordinate's negative six, we're going to go down six units. So that's going to be down six. To the left, one, two, and to the down, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the point's going to be right here. This is the point negative two, negative six. And those are our points.